Good day, my friends. May God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Did you know that the greatest curse which exists, the greatest plague a person carries in his life and can actually pass this to make his descendants to receive as well? Do you know what is the greatest curse? It is disbelief. Disbelief hinders the life of any person. It is a curse. There are even signs which are evident of a disbelief. A person who is unbelieving gives signs that it does not believe, that it's difficult for him to believe, which was the case of Thomas, which we have spoken for the past few days. Thomas was an unbelieving man. He became unbelieving with regards to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. The Holy Scripture shows a Thomas who is truly unbelieving, probably the worst of unbelievers. Let us read the Scripture. Just look. The, uh, the, the, the other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. When the disciples saw Jesus, they were 10. Judas had already left. Thomas was not present when Jesus appeared. I don't know where Thomas was, that he was not with the other disciples. That's why he was unbelieving. So just look, the disciples said, we have seen the Jesus. So he said to them, unless, just look, just look, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Which means Thomas was three times an unbeliever. The signs of disbelief are on the face of those who are unbelieving, the Thomases of life. But did you know that just as the unbelievers receive the mark of disbelief, the sign of disbelief, on the other hand as well, on the other side, there is a sign, the sign which is evident that a person believes. And this is exactly what we will be speaking about this Wednesday in the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God throughout Brazil and throughout the world. So, my friend, if there is a sign of disbelief or the signs of disbelief, which is the greatest curse, a person can have in his life, there is a sign of the belief, of faith. And this is what we shall be speaking about this Wednesday. And it is interesting. I want to show to you if truly you believe or not. Because the sign is there right next to you. I will not tell you here now because I'll have to explain explain with much detail what needs to be explained in order for you to come to see this sign on the mirror. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you may recognize the sign of belief, of faith, which brings life. 